I get the sample application here that I built in forestry and it's very simple I'm using bootstrap and you can see here this is the content editor and on this page this is the preview right here and within the markdown editor you can do um, or I should say within the WYSIWYG editor you can do a lot of stuff like you can have lists block quotes um, standard markdown formatting but there's times where you might want to add something kind of like a WordPress uh, short code where the content you add to the editor might need to be formatted in a specific way and a great example of this could be maybe adding an iframe from YouTube so if you're a developer this may not be a big deal you could just toggle this setting over here and choose raw editor and then in here you could just copy and paste the iframe not a big deal um, pretty easy to do but if you're handing it off to a client it might actually be easier to create a snippet and this is something that forestry provide provides um, so a snippet is just a predefined chunk of text that can be inserted into your content again it's very similar to um, short codes if you're familiar with WordPress so what you're gonna want to do here is create a forestry directory so dot forestry and I'm getting this from the documentation um, and then uh, sorry so forestry and then snippet so you want to create that as a directory so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this and this is my local site right here so I'm gonna make a new folder oh we already have one okay so I'm gonna make another directory within forestry called snippets and then within snippets you actually make your predefined snippets and the example they give here is this one they call a tip um, I think that's something that's already predefined within forestry but for our example here we're gonna actually make um, a responsive embeddable iframe snippet and the reason this is gonna work is also because I'm using bootstrap here um, this is a bootstrap theme so this will work um, because of these specific classes here but regardless it's a good good practice so the first thing I'm going to do here is within here within snippets I'm gonna make a new file actually let me make sure I get the formatting correct so we want to call it dot snippet so whatever whatever this ends up being called it needs to end in dot snippet so I'm gonna copy and paste that because I can't smell oh, I can't spell um, new file I'm just gonna call this iframe dot snippet okay so we get a blank file and now I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this right here paste it in and I'm actually gonna remove um, this right here the default video okay now we're gonna commit this so iframe snippet and I'm gonna push this up and because forestry connects to your github repository the change will be reflected within forestry so I'm gonna discard my changes and the snippet where you add a snippet down here with this icon so if I click this now I have iframe as an option and if I go ahead and click that well it actually depending on where your cursor is that's where it'll be added so if I add it here so that was added there but the source is empty so let's go ahead and add a familiar video and I'm gonna copy and paste the source from here and paste it in here um, one thing I did notice is when you paste in links uh, forestry tries to format them so you can just unlink it there so now if we save this and go and preview the change awesome so now we get this responsive iframe in here which is great and it wasn't it was easy to do because we can just constantly refer to the snippet here um, which is great it's reusable and it just ensures that um, a content editor or someone who's not a developer doesn't have to copy and paste this HTML or worry about formatting this HTML they can just worry about referencing it here 
um, similar to a short code in WordPress. 